This is a video on the pH electrode. This is what our pH electrode looks like. It is always kept in a fluid electrode storage solution, which is a big bottle. Inside of it is another fluid, a reference fluid, which is this right here. And you can see it has a, like a glass inside and has a little ball on the bottom here, which is very fragile, so be careful. So it is a little difficult pushing on the probe while it's in the fluid right here. So I just wanted to show you this, that when you do that, sometimes you may like act, accidentally spill this, and that wouldn't be much fun. Be so much easier to just lift using the arm here to lift it out. It's hard for me to do since I got a camera in one hand here, but um, lift it out. Put your fluid in. Lower it back in. So. To calibrate it, our machine here does say the different calibrators we're using. We have a 4, a 7, and a 10. And it does say when it was last calibrated. So what I'm going to do is calibrate. So here is the button that says calibrate. So follow this thing here and it goes down. Hit that. It says rinse electrode and place into buffer and then press start to begin. Start is over here. You push F3. So what you do, lift the arm out. This is kind of tough. I can loosen it right here and then move a little bit easier, but I didn't plan before I made the video here. So take this. Grab water. to do this on a video at the same time, but rinse, grab a quim wipe, wipe. I know we're not exactly drying the glass bulb down there. You don't, it's like I said, it's very fragile. So I'm going to put it first into the pH 4 standard. Um, it's kind of helpful that it's pink. But always look at the bottle where you got it from, pH 4 standard, lower it into the cup. And then I'm going to go over here hit start. Right now it's, we're waiting for it to stabilize, and you see it's a stabilizing. We haven't calibrated for a while, so it's taken it's a little bit of time, and I just replaced the reference fluid inside of it, so now it says ready. When you're done, and it says ready, there's down here's a button, F2, it says accept. And then it kind of gives you a millivolt, temperature, slope, you know, that kind of thing. Then I'm going to hit next for my next buffer. And it says rinse electrode and place into buffer, press F3 to begin. So I'm going to lift this out. Why is that tight? Mess this out. Take my DI water. Rinse, 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 rinse. Grab a Kim wipe or two. Wipe straight down. grab my next standard, which is generally the 7 standard. Push this down in there. And then come back over here, hit start. I 
it is ready. So once it's ready, you go over here and you hit the second one, accept. So you have another measurement, average slope, very nice. So now we're going to do our third buffer. So put this one aside. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Get our pH 10 buffer. I go over here. Well, I'm not going to say Cal done because I'm doing a pH 10. So I'm going to hit next. And hit start. So we're back to waiting for it to stabilize again and be ready. So now it is ready. And I go down here and hit F2. Accept. Now I can go over here and say the cal is done. So now I could print it, but we don't have a printer set up. We can look at a graph. That's pretty nice. Nice and linear. If you would like to look at that. But pretty much the cal is done. Just take your probe out. it off real good. Wipe it down. Then put it back into the storage solution for storage.